All right, everybody, we have a whole lot of packages to look at. I'm going to open those, and we're going to open those on the next video, and then should be done. Well, maybe not done. I went to the post office on Saturday, but then the storm happened Sunday, and then Monday was closed because of MLK Day. And then Tuesday, there's still a lot of snow, but I'm probably going to go Wednesday to see if anything was delivered on Sunday. But right now, we're going to be opening all these with a sticky nose to cover up everybody's uh, addresses. Put a flame emoji in the chat <laughs> in the comments for Cam for actually coming into work today. Yeah, he trudged through. He walked to work, walked a mile and like a foot, foot and a half. No, it was like two feet of snow. I told him he could just list it, and uh, he, he decided to be a hero. So flame emojis in the chat for that. Let's see what's actually in these. I'm pretty excited. These little boxes, you know, sometimes could have pretty expensive, you know, one-time items. Usually people don't consign just like a, uh, you know, a $25 item. You know, it, usually the bulk stuff is in kind of the bigger boxes. And these right here, by the way, these are video games. So that'll be exciting to see those, but I'm not really sure. I think he wants to have a couple sent back. That was sent directly just from WADA. So, all right, and you guys can do that. Uh, you guys can have it directly. We've had a couple, few people now send it in directly from PSA. They just have the return address, you know, for you, uh, you know, flippers and dippers who just want to just have it directly sent. And it's okay if you want some of your cards also sent back to you. You just have to pay the postage back to you okay so this one is from zach let's see what we got here put it off screen so i don't show any of his personal info so it's always good when they're actually wrapped as well so we're gonna magic ruler first edition blue eyes toon dragon psa 9 that's a nice card digimon oh i think this is the first digimon card we've ever had so that is uh pretty neat 2021 june premiere 2 event okay Dark Paladin, I know that's always a that's always a big hitter in Yu-Gi-Oh. Nice blue eyes, white dragon from 2002. Ultra rare. Let's see, blue eyes, white dragon. It's from Lob. That is from Lob, right there. Lob. It's not first edition, but hey, a nine five original blue eyes, white dragon. It's a very nice card. And then a red eyes, white dragon from Lob as well. Hey, nice card, Zach. Pretty nice to see. We always like to see uh, some higher-end stuff. We have a pretty nice rate. Now, I don't know if any of those are going to go over $2,500, but if you do have something that goes over $2,500, the rate drops from 13.9%. Now, you still have to pay 13.9% uh, up to that amount, but any dollar over that is only at 39 So, you know, you sell something for, let's say, $3,000, 2,500 of it is at 13.9, but the other 500 is only at 3.9%. So we're pretty, uh, pretty happy about that. And hopefully that gets out and people start to, you know, submitting at that one. So I don't want to show any, it doesn't look like, oh, the notes in here. All right. I put the note over here. Nick, let's see what we got here. Looks like two cards, three cards, two or three cards. Let's see what you got here. And you got a Lantern, EX Hidden Legends, Reverse Hollow, PSA 10, Manetric, Platinum, and then an Arcanine, Seeker Wonders. All right, nice one there. You put these over the sides, so they're not all mixed up. Also with this uh, on-camera stuff, I kind of like this because, you know, you guys can see the stuff that comes right out of the stuff versus, um, you know, other big time. I mean, they're... I'm not bashing the other consignment places. There are a lot of good ones, you know. TCA Gaming does it. Dan Catch'em All Collectibles does, like, Buy It Now stuff. Niggles for Pokemon. I think SM Pratt does some high-end stuff. But, um, you know, for, like, the guys who do a whole lot of this stuff, like, you know, PWCC or, you know, maybe, like, people who do whatnot consignment, you know. You never see it stuff come right out of the thing. Now, this is like double, but this is triple box. I gotta see. Hold on. Triple box. So that is that is usually a good sign of some good stuff to be in here. Got to cut up the top so I don't actually cut anything. But yeah, it's nice to see the stuff come right out of the box. Um, also, you know, it's good for us because honestly. Um, you know, sometimes uh, your guys' stuff is not wrapped perfectly, and they'll have cracked slabs, and, um, you know, not not the best, and I don't want to say, like, 
Hey, it's not, uh, okay, hold on. I, I just gotta read this. Okay, this is from Harrison. All right, so let's see what we got in here. We got one two, triple box plus um, this cardboard wrapping. So I think we're gonna see some good cards here. This will be like a PSA return. I'm gonna flip it over, put that there. Sorry guys, this is just a uh, super boxed here. But I think, you know, most of the people that watch these unboxings just have this in the background anyway. And uh, if there's something cool, you can look at the screen. I don't really think you're too concerned about time if you're watching this type of content. But yeah, I like to show these off on camera as well. All right, let's see what we got. So these are two cards. Pull this out. And we have a PSA 10, first edition w, or, uh, VWXYZ Dragon Cat Catapult Dragon. I think Ruxin, you know, who uh, watches these, will know if these are uh, pretty good cards or not. An IOC reprint, Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy PSA 10. We like to see PSA 10, Yu-Gi-Oh! and... Uh, and Pokemon, especially with these older things. So 2006, Destiny Hero, Dreadmaster 9, Dark Magician Girl, 2005, Collector 10, PSA 9. And then I think these are Pokemon. We got a Crobat from Black and White, Plasma Storm. I love Crobat. It's just, he's one of my favorite, favorite characters. Rising Rivals, Alakazam, Level X. Another Crobat, EX Deoxys. I like the Crobats here. I like that. And then we got a couple more to finish it off. Agron, Legend Maker, PSA 10. Very nice. Probably a low pop on that one. A Deoxys EX. Very nice from EX Deoxys. PSA 10. I'm sure that's probably a low pop too. And then we have a Manaphy Plasma Storm. Very, very nice. Harrison. All right. I'm going to put that to the side. That took a little bit for that one. This might be a little longer video just because we're opening a ton of boxes at once. Um, they're kind of smaller, but it does take some time to open these boxes. I guess I could just open them before, but eh, I kind of like this process. I should really just make these like live so I can, uh, you know, talk to talk to the chat instead of talking to myself over here. Okay, what's going on here? What's the issue? What am I doing wrong? Uh, I think it's down here. No, what is going on? What am I doing wrong here? Oh, that's what I'm doing. You know, you'd think I would open enough PSA boxes doing Graded Gem that I would know kind of the opening points on this. Okay, let me just put this off to make sure. Okay, it's for Kyle. Kyle is a return customer right now. I've seen his name quite a bit before on previous assignments so thank you for tuning back all right let's put this over to the side let's see what we got here so valley gx cosmic eclipse we got some shadowless shadowless 7 charizard gx 9 we got a 9.5 and a 10 at auction right now of that card so we're getting a few of those cards charizard plasma storm 8 some nice cards here. Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Not the one everybody's looking at. Everybody, you know, there was a time where Rainbow Rares were what everybody looked at. But now, you know, Rainbow Rares is not really the flavor of the month. Now, there are people that say, hey, I really want to, uh, I really think, Umbre have you seen those things in Facebook? Well, I haven't seen it, but I've seen Discord people talk about people on Facebook who are saying that, uh, you know, Umbreon, VMAX, the, you know, uh, the alt art. You guys know the one I'm talking about. The Moombreon is going to be like, oh, in a few years, it's going to be like a $5,000, $10,000 card. Like, bruh. Bro. Broski. That's a five dollars to $10,000 card. I better be buying some... Uh, uh, vintage cards, you know what I mean? If that's the case, I mean, didn't that didn't that set just come out like a year or so ago, year and a half, something like that? Anyway, I'm not gonna crap on the Moonbrion. I shouldn't because I have one and I still haven't graded it yet. I really, uh, I really should. Let's see if there's a little note in here. I don't see a note on that uh, here. Sarah, who is this from? Oh, okay. Jose. 
Jose, uh, Jose was actually the very, very first uh, consignment in like September of 2021. So, uh, you know, I know all about him. I, I don't need uh, his note. There was nice. Dark Dragonite, Team Rocket Burst Edition, Dark Blastoise 8, Greninja. I've seen so many of these in 9, so to get a 10 is actually uh, pretty good. Dark Venusaur, Suicune. Su Suicune? Suicune? Is that what I I'm supposed to say? Light Arcanine, one of the best arts of all time. Don't tell me it's Moonbrion. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to ignore you. Venusaur Advanced Challenge. And then another Cro wow, Crobat Day. We've seen a ton of Crobats here. Very nice. By the way, I, uh, I've i always had a loose ring with my, uh, you know, wedding band. But, you know, it got cold here and it gets, it gets even looser. I got to write Jose's name on here so I don't know it's him. And, uh, you know, I came downstairs to the garage, which is right outside of the office. And it's really cold down there. And then I went to uh, go to the microwave to warm something up for my toddler. And I was like, wow, I can't, wow, my ring's not on. So, and I re had recorded a video and I saw the video and Cam had suggested, he's like, did you have it in the video? Because I had went to the post office that day and then I recorded a video like this uh, and I had it. So it is somewhere in this house and I, I cannot find it. I do not know where it is. It's either in the office or it is uh, in the garage, or it's in the house. I mean, it's just a small, I mean, you guys have watched this channel, it's just a small silver ring, but um, yeah, kind of annoying. Re really annoying, actually. Kind of devastating, uh, honestly. I mean, it, it wasn't, the value of it really wasn't that much. I mean, I got a pretty cheap ring, uh, but the sentimental value. So I bought some silicone ring that, uh, gonna have to get in the we already got a silicone ring it didn't fit it was too big so now i have to uh actually find another but i'll find it one day but anyway i don't want some uh you know long time fans see that and say hey wait a minute what's going on there that's what's going on anyway we have a oh, hold on let me see who this is from let me look at the note hold on we have got joel you looks like you hit the lotto here. Not the lotto, it wasn't that hard to grade, but a lot of people got this really, really crappy out of the UPC. You got a PSA 10. Oh, you got two PSA 10s. There you go. Very nice. And I think that was, was that the art that everybody likes the most? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think it's the art I probably like the most. Professor's Research. Another Professor's Research 10. Uh, this, you know, the WIFOs. This could be worth $50 or $500. I have no clue. You never know with these, you know? You, you never do. Oh, there's another 10. Well, if it is worth a lot, then you uh, you did well on those. And then we have some CGC cards. Hoot Hoot. I like that art. I like that. I think that's one of my favorite alt arts is that Hoot Hoot, that going there. Looks like you submitted some to CGC from your UPC. And got some nines. And then, last but not least, RCSV. So there you go, Joel. Let me put this over to the side. But yeah, thanks everybody for uh, submitting. There was a, you know, like I said, a big snowstorm, crazy, crazy. Cam walked in the snow, trooper, crushed it. Like I said, we've, he doesn't live that far away. He probably is a mile away, which is, you know, that's Flagstaff for you. It's a pretty relatively small town. But um, let me see, let me put this out here. This is a good sign. We got a box and then inside a box, inside bubble wrap, inside probably more bubble wrap and it has fragile in the outside. I'm going to make sure this is just in case there's, okay, Ramon. But it looks like there is a note, which I will take off. Okay. All right, hold on. Ramon, thanks for your hard work. James and Cam, have a great 2023. All right, well, thank you for, oh, there it is. ZNG consignment. Let's see what's inside. It's like a P. Everybody likes PSA returns, right? It's like a basically a PSA return every single time, or CGC or whatever. Oh, and they're all individually sleeved, which could be, uh, you know, really good stuff. Or some people just like to sleeve every single one of their cards. Oh, there is one CGC card. Let's see what we got here for Ramon. And uh, sorry if this isn't too entertaining for some of you. I, I find this to be. I I'm not trying to be entertaining in these. I'm just trying to. Uh, just trying to have some, uh, just kind of look at some cool stuff and 
um, I'm not really too worried about, you know, uh, I'm never even a, well, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm not entertaining as it is, but uh, I'm not trying to uh, hype it up here. Look, let's look at this. Nice. Ivysaur Bulbasaur deck. Is that, uh, that's a little bit, a little bit off center, but hey, they gave it to you. So there you go. Nitto King, Town on No Map. I like that. I love it. Is that one of the, for some reason, I think that's one of the best, um, even though there are other really good Japanese names, for some reason, I just like, I just like that. It just seems nostalgic, that name. Nice, a 10 of that one, an 8 of a Rayquaza C, level X, Mega Charizard, another, we got another, man, we are getting a ton of these now. Maybe this because our rates are, uh, have gone down for this kind of uh, 500 to $1,000 level. Charizard PSA 10, Dark Magician Korean PSA 10, Dark Magician Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, nice nine, and then an Evolutions pre release Mewtwo. All right, thank you to Ramon. Put that over the side. Looks like we have three more boxes in this video. Let me open this. This one has just like addresses all over the place, so I don't really want to make sure I got them all. That's what happens when, this looks like it's an international place. Where is this from? Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh from Canada, uh, Canada? I believe it's from Canada. I shipped quite a few to Canada with Greta Gem. Still dealing with, if you guys have seen, still dealing with a package that Canada seized. I gave them all the information and they just still are waiting. It's it's extremely frustrating. All right, this is for Gene. Let's see what you got, Gene. Put this over here, put the box down here. All right, nicely bubble wrapped all the way from good old Canada. Let me make sure there's nothing on here that says. Uh, okay, put this over here. Oh, it looks like you might have our first. Uh, no, I think we have had a precious metal gems before. So, uh, Swami, if you're watching, he's a guy that just, uh, just does, um, well, I don't think he just does it, but he does a lot of Marvel content if you are into that, which I'm not really into that at all, but, uh, I do like just watching people passionate about other stuff. I mean, I used to watch YouTube channels of a guy eating meals ready, or ready to eat meals or whatever it's called, uh, you know, and I don't really care about that either. All right, let's see. We got a Blastoise Classic Collection 10. Do I have... Okay, Gene, you're still here. I just want to make sure I have the note. A Special Delivery Charizard. Nice. And 10. Jigglypuff. We have a... Right here, Winged Curabo. 9. A Zoa World Championship Pack. And 9. We have a Poliwag... We have, is this a, no, this is Weiss Schwartz right here. Avengers Weiss Schwartz. I didn't even know they had those. Weiss does uh, a whole lot of IPs. Then we have a Precious Metal Gems Red Captain America in PSA 7. I think Precious Metal Gems are really hard to get in high grade. Then we have a Pikachu promo. Then he has three now in bubble, wrap, in bubble mailer, so you know that these are a little more expensive items. So let's see. Let's see the cards right here. I'll make sure I cut the card. So this is a Iron Man Precious Metal Gems PSA 7 Blue from 2013. Very, very nice. Now, like I said, I don't really know much about uh, Precious Metal Gems other than they're hard to get in high grade and they're usually kind of expensive. So to have a 2013, assuming that's a pretty nice card. Now I know this is a nice card because I saw the front. A Gold Star Charizard in a PSA 9. Look at that bad boy. Very nice. That'll be a, that'll be a highlight for the week. I just like to look at the back. A little tiny whitening on the corners, but there's no, like, edge. I hate edge wear on a 9. It just doesn't... With corners, I'm like, okay, well, I could have just come from the factory just cutting around those round corners, but no edge whitening. Very nice card. Very, very nice. So not to be outdone, I can see what this one is as well. This is another gold star. And we have a gold star Pikachu from EX Holland Phantoms PSA 9. 
Very, very nice. So we have actually had this card through the auction block like a year or so ago, but it was a CGC 9. It wasn't a PSA 9. So very nice. All right. Very nice cards there for Gene. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see the high end stuff. Not to say we don't, you know, we take a lot of, we take everything. But, you know, it's kind of cool to see the, you know, a uh, little higher end stuff that doesn't really come in too often. Okay. So we have two more packages left. Like I said, it's going to be a little longer video. Oh, we're at 20 minutes. That's not bad. You know, I'm used to doing podcasts that are hours long. So to have a 20 to 30 minute video isn't, doesn't seem that long to me. All right. What do we got here? So let me make sure. Okay. Week one. And then this one is week two. So I will show week one and week two. Just, you know. Just to show them off. Or maybe I'll show week two uh, just next week. All right, hold on. All right, this is for Luke. Let's look at what we got for this week. So Luke always sends in some usual, some nice whites and some nice Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We have a Dark Magician Girl, PSA 9 from 2001. Another Mint Dark Magician Girl, DDM. We have a Catwoman. Participation. We sold quite a few of these, Lucas, and quite a few of these. It's usually like $150, $200 ish card. All right, from Weiss Schwartz, Bushy Road, Dark Magician Girl 9. So, yeah, as you can see, Luke sends in a variety of other. He usually just doesn't send in Pokemon. He usually sends in a variety of other TCGs, be it uh, Weiss or Yu Gi Oh! or, you know, I believe it's uh, Card Fight Vanguard he sent in and a lot of other stuff as well. There's a Blue Eyes White Dragon from the Show and Jump promo. All right. And then the one Dark Crisis will be as well. There'll be another Dark Crisis next week as well. But I will save that for the week two. Let me put this over here for Luke. And then last but certainly not least, we have from... Chris, uh, yep, Chris, I believe Chris had emailed me and said that, uh, hey, I sent you this, but uh, I totally forgot a note. Chris had sent in, Chris was actually interested in listing as well, I need to read. I haven't gone through all the emails yet, I know there's been like 15 people about uh, that had talked to me about interest in being, helping us list and be kind of a full-time, part-time lister. I have not looked at those yet because it's just been crazy here, and I just, I would not have the time to set up someone as an employee yet uh, and to get through that. So let me just put this on. Well, he's got a, he's got the address on there. I don't really want to, man, Chris just, uh, he didn't mess around. This is, uh, this is quite the, as you can see, it's like, man, I have to like, rip this out like this kind of man chris is uh chris is messing with me here he's trying to stuff it all and i can't put that back because there's the addresses all around as well oh man <laughs> either i need to work out or uh chris you uh you put this all in here okay man i'm like i'm like sweating to open this thing holy okay Holy. Okay. <laughs> and it's still, it's still taped. I'm still, uh, I gotta be careful with this piece of PSA card behind there. I don't want to cut into it. All right. Oh boy. I'm, st I'm still having to work to get this open. Okay. Woo. That is, that is about as packed tight as you can get in here. Okay, I swear it's not me. All right, let's just pull, let's just pull some of these out. They look to be not broken, so that's the main thing. Usually, when you pack some tight, usually when you pack stuff so tight, it's like a good and a bad thing. Good thing they can't rattle around. Bad thing they might be so tight that any type of pressure on the outside might cause them to uh, actually crack. So looked good to start. Let's see what we got here we got a mishmash so let me just go through these we got a mew from 2013 battle carnival 
Neo Destiny, Dark Houndoom. Not my favorite Houndoom. Not my favorite Houndoom. It would probably be uh, the Neo Neo Rev or the, uh, what is it, the Quapolis? Is that the one? Nine Tails Evolutions pre release kit. Huh. That's a little weird. Do I? I don't even reckon that. How, do you, how can you tell this is pre release? uh from that one right isn't it uh or is it just because it's non-hollow that's probably what it is non-hollow it's probably hollow in the anyway i shouldn't probably dilly dally on that reggie gigas dark Ampharos from team rocket returns we actually have a few psa 10 team rocket returns we have a dark tyranitar that's doing pretty well right now at auction you should check that out check the link below mew pop series 4 8.5 lugia bex the best of EX or XY. Man, I can't talk at the end of this end of this video. Some more EX Team Rocket Returns. Sky Ridge. Hey, it's a nice art box. This is the FPO, right? The, uh, well, this is an FPO, but it's the art that is in those FPO packs that I think Rusty discovered one time. That uh, apparently some guy is selling them for cheap to a lot of people. It's like, dude, stop selling them for cheap. Like, it's like... Guys, somebody needs to tell him that he has uh, rare packs. Pokey Park uh, from 2005. Pokey Park opened, and uh, they released some promos. I think if you went there, Dark Ampharos, Jungle Victory Bell. Here we have a Tropical Wind World Championships Black Star promo from 2004. Very nice. Shiftry EX Lapras Fossil for Sedition. Is this a crack worthy? So I'm gonna try to break this out and send it to PSA. It's the 8.5. There you go. And then another Pokey Park. Ooh, that's an expensive card, right? Uh, we sold one of these cards. It was probably a year ago, and it went for like a, almost a thousand dollars, I believe. Maybe it was like 800. Not sure what they're going for now, but I know that's a pretty expensive. Um, is that technically an alt art? Is that the tech? I'm not sure. Uh, verse series. Love Verse series. Always like to see those. Dark Dawn fan. Metal Energy from Verse. Uh, Rainbow Energy from Verse. And then a Staff Pillow Swine from Stormfront. Okay, guys. Long video, I know. But we got another probably video to go about all these boxes and to show you guys. And thank you for everybody who has submitted. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you again soon.